What is going on guys? Ben Glegan here, going back at you with another video today. Back on Victorious. What I will say is that I finally have my new computer, which means that my setup has changed a little bit. And I have more desk space now, which means uh, I can actually see my computer when I record and things like that, which is cool. And I will say that the quality should improve on my videos. The render time should improve, which means more videos potentially. And for Victorious, when I record Ultimate Team, it's not going to be the top tier of quality maybe, but I, it should be pretty good, better than what you guys normally might see or have seen from me in the past. And a lot of people have been asking for this series to return. The problem is like nobody really watches it. So it's, it's tough to gauge interest in my opinion when like people don't watch it as much as maybe I would like. But if you guys, you guys want it, some of you maybe, so we are gonna do it. The series is by no means over. But uh, it's going to be a little bit less of a frequent upload than it was at the start. So you'll have to excuse me for that. We are 4-1 and one on the season. And we're coming off a difficult loss. Honestly, a couple of weeks ago. It's kind of been kind of a while. I hope you guys don't mind too much. We're coming to the playoffs. You guys, of course, can see the rules on the right. Points stack. So if I get... One touchdown in the game, that's one point. If I get two touchdowns, that's two points. You combine them, that's three. Pretty self-explanatory. I get a point for a rage quit on top of the win. And playoff games, we're still kind of deciding because we haven't gotten there yet. Some people said playoff games should be an extra point for the win or whatever. Uh, I'm not really sure. It doesn't matter that much to me. The team is progressing pretty nicely. It's still, like, bad. It's still really bad. Like, so many silvers and, and low golds and... The elites that I have that have been grandfathered in are, like, not even that good aside from Randy Moss. Like, we have Doug Baldwin, who's bad. But we shall see how it goes. Michael Vick, and I'm still bad at offense. Let's see what this guy has, though. That is, of course, our team. As I smash my mic because I'm talking with my hands. He's got Muttmaster Shazier, Randy Moss, and Champ Bailey. That is phenomenal. Wish me luck. This is going to be a tough game to play. This guy clearly knows what he's doing uh, very well, running the Patriots playbook. I might have to send some heat at him. And that's the heat. It got in. Roquan Smith with the sack. That's uh, right at me. I didn't get there because I suck. But Chidobia Woozy does get there. It's an interception. We're taking over. No PA crossers. Thank you. I'm not just going to let this guy run his offense at will. So, I needed to start sending some heat, and we did just that. Let's see if we can get some rushing yards with Michael Vick today. I fumbled the ball, trying to slide. It's been a little while since I played online, clearly. That was a bad start. That's at me. What do you... Dude, how am I not getting an animation there? I'm undercutting the route and holding triangle. You gotta be kidding me. He's throwing right at me. This guy knows plays, but he sucks. This We should be able to win this game as long as I don't suck, which I do. So He's going to settle for the field goal after we shut him down. But he's going to get points up on the board, which is more than we've done so far. So, I mean, we're in tough shape. Because uh, if my first offensive possession is any, indica uh, any indicator, we're not going to be able to play that well if we turn over the ball every single play, which is what we're on average... Uh, for and what we're pacing for to do. I also clearly haven't spoken all day as I have forgotten how to speak, clearly. Also, my bad. I know nobody wants to watch the screen in such a small uh, format, if you will. So, we're in a normal size now. Hope that's a little bit easier for you guys to see. And, uh, yeah, let's just get yards with Vic and not fumble. I hear if you hold uh, R1... You pretty much never fumble, which is cool, so I might be doing a lot of that. I should just play smart and play for points, which is definitely what I'm going to start to do. As he's sending a QB spy now. Um, I mean, I'm trying to check down there. I, I don't know who taught Saquon Barkley to stand right over the defensive line when running a route like that, because that's not open. I should have playmakered him, probably. Oh, that's a good... Uh, eh. It's not a good throw. Uh, I thought I had Randy Moss. It just nothing is going the way I want it to right now. I'm going to have to punt. 
That's such a terrible throw. And it's almost caught. I didn't switch on because, you know, clearly across this game, I haven't had great luck doing so. And uh, he drops it right in his hands. That can't be caught. Thank you. <laughs> that quarterback spy is really giving me some problems now because I really would like to run with Michael Vick. And it just doesn't seem to be possible. He didn't have time to set it up, though. Go, Michael. Go, Vic. There's RB. You can't strip the ball. Coming up on 100 yards. Killer. Now, you guys have probably realized I haven't completed a pass yet. But that's actually all right. Because uh, completing passes are actually uh, super rated. Overrated. I can't even speak. We're going to take the slide that time. Almost 60 yards for Michael Vick. Right, I'm looking at Gerald Everett all the way here. Dude, how is he going to shed like that? I suck. I'm only looking to run. It's it's bad right now. Kicks right down the middle, though. It's going to be 3-3. I'm not sure why he called a timeout. He wasted his timeouts in just idiotic fashion earlier. So he has no timeouts in 19 seconds. He's going to try to score. It's just not going to happen. I mean, I can guarantee you. I might even end up scoring. Who knows? He's going to go down the middle to Randy Moss. That should be an interception. It's going to be an interception for Russell Olukun here. And uh, we'll have a shot at the end zone. Or would it be better to just play for the upgrade points and run with Michael Vick and guarantee the 100 yards rushing? Yeah, I'm going to do that. I'll take the 10 yards. That's fine. And interceptions minus points anyway. I don't want that. I totally didn't even think about it. We fumbled with Michael Vick on the first play. That's a minus one uh, upgrade point. So we're sitting at negative one total points for the game right now. Not good. That's a dime. Dot Saquon Barkley. Perfect throw from Michael Vick on the run. That's what his mobility offers. And I know I'm not playing like good football but I mean it's working a little bit here in Madden it's the first time the entire game he's come out in something other than cover to invert I think it's interesting Saquon Barkley inside the 10 as we're coming up on 100 yards passing for Michael Vick seemingly out of nowhere would really love an upgrade point here a touchdown would be ideal I'm trying to throw the ball away and he just doesn't do it so, I mean, I, I'm losing a ton of yardage. It's an interception. I, I'm trying to do something here, and I'm, I'm bad offensively. His defense is shutting me down. I really want to be able to run the ball in the red zone, because that's really only uh, the thing that works in Madden 19, and I can't do it. I cannot run the ball, because then Michael Vick doesn't gain any upgrade points, so there's no like point to scoring a touchdown, you know? So... Even though my offense would be much more effective if I could, you know, hand the ball off every once in a while, the reason I'm not doing that is because there's no reason to. I might try more quarterback draws, but Michael Vick's got to get the points. So far, we're sitting at negative two. It's not good. Looks like he's going to attempt the field goal, which is what I want. That's a win for me right here. He's missed. Oh my god. How do you miss that? It's from 30 yards away. That's an extra point. That's unbelievable. Third and eight. This is a big down for me. And I've just been... I've been really hesitant to do anything. I gotta go for it here. Which is uh, unfortunate, to say the least. But fourth and three. We gotta make something happen. I'm gonna streak Randy Moss. Maybe that can, you know, clear some stuff up. Back across the middle. Doug Baldwin first down. That was huge. That's got to be a great throw from Vic. It is. Randy Moss open. Right, that's the only way I'm moving a ball, throwing on the run. That's over 100 yards passing, which is a point. So now we have negative one total points for the game, which is cool. Which means we have to downgrade a player, which fun. Third and 12. I'm going to assume he's staying in the same coverage. Could be a poor assumption. Also could be an awesome one. I might throw to John Ross real quickly. There it is. John Ross dropped the football. That's so tough. Give me a 52-yard field goal attempt. I should be able to drill this. Kick is up, and the kick is good. 
We're going to take a 6-3 to three lead, which would give us two points. Um, which would take us to one upgrade point for the game. <laughs> nice. Oh, uh, why are you backing up, Kevin King? And he's, he's already in field goal range after one play. I can't even get there. This guy's actually going to score, too. That's a touchdown. It's tough. Give me the ball. Use your pick. Easy reads. Clifford the big red, big red dog. Can't, I, it's not even easy reads because I can't even speak easily. Let's get 100 yards with Michael Vick rushing. All I can say is finally this guy makes a terrible decision and I can capitalize on it. This is going to count as a rage quit. It's going to count. It's an extra point. All right, Pierce conceded the game. That counts. That's that's uh, three points for the win in total with the rage quit. That's 100 passing yards, and we didn't score a touchdown. So minus the interception and the fumble, that's minus two. So that's four minus two. We get two points for the game, unless I miscounted. Pretty sure I didn't. Pretty sure that's it. I didn't get 100 rushing yards. Let's see. Let's just do it again. With the rage quit, that's three total points, plus 100 passing yards. That's four. Minus two. So we're at two. All right. So I'm clearly not good offensively, which is, is tough. Because if I was good offensively, this series would be an absolute breeze. I'm sorry. I'm just, I'm just not good. I try to be better. I'm not. Defensively, obviously, we're pretty good, even with a team of silvers. I think it's about time to upgrade some of these guys. Foyasade Olakun. I think it's probably about time for you to leave. The move at middle linebacker is absolutely Tremaine Edmonds. 6'5", 80 speed. I mean, that's my user. He compares so well to uh, Foyasade Ulukun, who is our current middle linebacker extraordinaire, who is a 60-something overall. There he is. So the speed isn't quite there for Tremaine Edmonds, but he is taller, and he's just better overall. Olakun really isn't terrible, though. He's going to be moved down to number two, maybe. To go with the former Texas Longhorn for our final upgrade point, we're going to go team of the week, Hassan Ridgeway at defensive tackle. And that will be an upgrade over whoever we have there currently now that's a silver. I think we have Earl Mitchell starting, which clearly is not very good. I totally should have upgraded Kendall Donerson. What I'm going to do is move for your side Olakun here. That's actually a killer idea. Actually, I'm going to move Tremaine Edmonds there. Because I use her left outside linebacker most often in my scheme. So Tremaine Edmonds will probably be better there. Leon Jacobs back out there. Not that he really matters. He doesn't see the field anyway. And Tremaine Edmonds will play left outside linebacker. So a lot of guys are out of position. That's fine. It doesn't really matter. Especially because these guys will not be uh, mainstays in the team. And then Earl Mitchell will be exchanged for Hassan Ridgeway. I cannot wait to upgrade to uh, Elites. 80 to 84 as soon as we get Brandon Wilson, Leon Jacobs, and fullback doesn't really matter. That's pretty much it. And then we'll be able to move on. So we just need two more upgrade points, but that's going to be for next episode, hopefully. Thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you in the next one. Take it easy.